Hey everyone. Today we're talking about reported speech, which is basically how we say what someone else said. So if you like to gossip, be like, well, I heard that she said, or if you want to explain or summarize, this is pretty much the way that you do it. First, we'll talk about the function and form. So what does it look like? Why do we use it? Then um, we'll work through an example and a little bit of practice. And then I'll give you some pictures that you can use as extra practice just for yourself, kind of. Of course, I'll talk through it because I love to talk. But here we go. So reported speech is um what we use to report what someone else said so you can think about a tv reporter or a news reporter they're telling you what's happening they're telling you what's being said and what's going on um and that's pretty much what reported speech is you'll also hear this referred to as indirect speech they're the same thing i use reported speech because it's easier for me to remember that's really the only reason um, so here's an example. Yesterday, my mom told me to go to her house for dinner. That's reported speech. I'm telling you what my mom told me yesterday. It sounds a lot harder than it is. You use reported speech all the time in your daily life. Anytime you want to say, this person told me, you're reporting their speech. You're reporting what they said. Um, so here's what it looks like. There's three steps to making something reported speech rather than direct. So first, give credit. You have to say who said it originally. This might look like my mom said, he told me, the speaker in the video stated, this author explains these are all ways to give credit or to say who said it originally. The second thing you need to do is back shift the tense. Remember that someone told you something before you reported it. That means it was said in the past. By the time you are repeating it, it now was said in the past. So shift the tense to the past. The only exception to this is if you are saying what someone else is saying at the same time. Um, this might happen if you're in the back of a classroom and the speaker's all the way in the front and your classmate behind you says, what is he saying? I can't hear. You might then repeat what you're hearing at the same time that it's being said. Or if you are translating, um, you would probably be doing it at about the same time and you don't backshift. It's not common. Um, it is much more common to backshift the tense. Finally, you're going to change pronouns if necessary. For example, if someone was talking about themselves and they said I, you would change that to, spit, to fit the speaker by saying he or she said. So, Three easy steps, it's not hard, and we will walk through it together, but basically to report speech, to report what someone else said, you're gonna say who said it, you're going to backshift the tense, so make it in the past because it was said in the past, and you are going to change any pronouns that need to be changed. Let's look at an example. In direct speech, I speak English. This is what someone would actually say, I speak English. To report that without backshifting, if it's at the same time, I might say, oh, he says that he speaks English. To report this later, I would say, earlier this morning, he said that he spoke English. So direct speech is the actual quote, what the person said word for word. Your reported, shit, your reported speech is going to change the pronouns and adjust the tense. Let's see what this looks like. So notice that direct speech is the only one with quotation marks. 
Ooh, this got small. Um, reported speech with no backshift is what you're going to use only if you are saying what the other person is saying at the same time. Again, it's rare. You might use it when you're translating or someone can't hear or can't understand and you just want to repeat it real quick. And reported speech with a backshift is the most common. And notice the pattern. Number one, who said it? So we're starting with he said. Number two, change your tense. So you'll notice we have spoke and said. These are both the past tense. And number three, adjust your pronouns. We're now saying he said that he spoke. And if you go back to the direct speech, our quote is that I speak. But I'm not the one who originally said this. He is. So I'm going to report that he said that he spoke English. So let's practice quickly. If person A, let's say Helen, says to person B, Gareth, these are British names. If Helen says, I want to tell you something about my trip to London. And Gareth says, I can't understand her accent. What is she saying? Then you would say, she says that, do you have a guess? I'll give you a quick second to make a guess here. She says that, She wants to tell you something about her trip to London. I didn't change the tenses. I didn't backshift because this is all happening pretty much at the same time. Like we're all sitting together or we're all standing near each other having a conversation. Here's example two. She said, quote, I don't know where my shoes are. And then when you get to the place you're going, you might report, I'm so sorry we're late. Um, I was waiting for her. She said that, how would you report this? Look at your quote and remember the rules. Number one, give credit, that's been done for you, right? She said that. Number two, backshift your tenses. Number three, adjust your pronouns. Okay, she said that she didn't know where her shoes were. So, she, because I'm adjusting my pronoun, didn't, I'm making that past tense, know where her pronoun, shoes were, past tense. Okay, not too hard, right? It sounds a little complicated, but it's actually a pretty natural speech pattern. Um, so let's see if you want more practice. I've got some pictures and you can practice coming up with things that they might say. So for each picture, see if you can use reported speech. Um, if you have a buddy, that would be very helpful if you can get a partner. If not, just do it in your head. Okay, so looking at this picture, what do you think the man is telling this woman over here on the left? Now, if this is real time, again, if we're watching them from across the room, um, we are not going to backshift. So we might say something like, Ooh, I think he is telling her that she... is really pretty. And she's like, me? You think I'm really pretty? Um, if this was in the past, then we say, oh my gosh, I was at this coffee shop earlier and I saw this guy, the man over here, telling a woman that he thought she was really pretty and she was super into it and she ended up asking him out on a date. Notice that I'm using my pronouns and I am backshifting. 
Okay, let's see another one. Oh, how's the woman responding? I already did this because I got excited. Okay, how about this one? Who do we think is speaking in this picture? And what do you think the speaker is saying? And what do you think the other person is saying? So maybe the woman with the brown hair in the black shirt holding like a mug of tea is saying, I got, I was fired from my job this morning. And maybe the other say, woman is saying, that's terrible, but you hated that job. So this is better. Now, if I wanted to report this again, I'm going to take that direct speech. I'm going to give credit to whoever said it. I'm going to backshift my verbs and I'm going to adjust my pronouns. So she told her that she lost her job that morning. And this woman responded by saying that she hated her job anyway and that this would be better. Ooh, this looks like they're fighting. Maybe she said, you cheated on me and I know it. And he said, no, I didn't. And he doesn't know what she's talking about. Again, past tense pronouns. That's pretty much the, the thing to remember. Let's look at some cute little penguins. What is the penguin on the left telling the other penguin? Maybe um, this penguin is saying, I'm so glad you're here, you're my best friend. If I wanted to report that, then I would say one time I saw two penguins and one penguin put his arm around the other little penguin and told him that he was his best friend, his best penguin friend. If you notice, you probably didn't because I got real excited. I used pronouns and I backshifted. And I said that one penguin told the other. So that's pretty much it. Reported speech is how we report what someone else said. Our three steps are to give credit. So start by saying who said it originally. Then you're going to backshift, unless this is a real time situation. Usually we backshift our tenses and put them in the past. And third, we change the pronouns. And that's it. So have fun reporting and I will see you next time.